Take out your smartphones while my lovely technical assistant, Alex, <laughs> is fixing this and download my app because that's really why I'm here tonight, right? I was going to charm you first and then tell you to download it, but we've got some extra time at the beginning. So download Milkrate. I'm just going to start. So Milkrate is an app that helps you live more sustainably. I can tell we're on edge. I don't want to lose you. So. This started as a personal passion project of mine when I was trying to live more sustainably in Philadelphia. I'm from this city, I went to grad school here um, in sustainable design, and my master's thesis was basically my desire to create a tool that would help me live more sustainably and to fulfill the hunch that there were a lot of people out there, probably most of you, that you would feel better about yourself if you lived your values, but you find it kind of hard. You have those dead batteries in your drawer and you're like, eh. Or you're like, oh, I should really eat more local fresh food and support a local farmer. Oh, but the grocery store is right there. Or I really like these Cheetos. So we're trying to make it easier for you to get past that moment and use Milk Crate as the tool that helps you live your values. So what we did was we partnered with lots of local organizations like Fair Food, the Sustainable Business Network, B Corp, and others that have membership directories. Oh my god, this might happen. And we brought together all of their directories into one place. Yes! Okay, this is happening. All right, so live sustainably, shop locally, and download milk crate. So there are 46 million people in the world who are in the US who are conscientious consumers, people like me and lots of you who feel good about themselves when they buy from companies that share their values. So Chipotle supporting local farmers or going to the white dog around the corner that definitely supports local farmers and pays a fairer wage. So all of these companies, when we support them, we feel good about ourselves, and we often use mobile technology to find them. Um, but it's sometimes difficult, and that's where we come in. Now, the other kind of problem that we're solving is that there are civic departments all over Philadelphia and in other major cities that are spending heaps of money. So money's been a theme tonight, so I'm gonna try and talk like money is a big part of what I'm doing, and it is, but there's the social impact part too. So, so these civic departments are spending $700 million here in Philly on sustainability programming over the next four years. And did I break it? No, it's not broken down, but whatever. So we're targeting these civic departments, that, like the water department, they're spending heaps of money on helping residents get free rain barrels or installing other kinds of sustainable infrastructure in their homes and in their communities. So these are one of our customers where we help these civic departments reach conscientious consumers and connect them so that that $700 million gets well spent and the people like me and you who care about creating more sustainable healthy communities can find the information we need. So what does this look like? I get that it's probably a little confusing right now. So on to the pretty pictures. So this is the first version of Milk Crate that we launched in August along with our crowdfunding campaign. We used Indiegogo and had success. So sometimes the platform, it depends. Tech is really hard to crowdfund for. But anyways, we launched our, our crowdfunding campaign, our new website, and our app in August. And it was a basic directory tool with about 2,000 listings in 26 categories. So you can find every local sustainable restaurant, bike shop, used bookstore, thrift store, university that has a sustainability program, and many other things. Um, so that was our beta. It basically brings together those civic programs, businesses, and nonprofits into a, a reward system built on a directory, and that then helps our consumers live more sustainably. Does that make sense? You get a little graphic there. So I'm now going to show you the next version of Milk Crate and explain a little bit about our thinking of where the company's going and how we're growing. So the next version of Milk Crate, this still looks a lot like the current one, but there's something different. You can see these badges on the left. Those are telling you where did this business come from? What makes it sustainable? So we've partnered with nonprofits that have membership directories and criteria. So B Corp, for example. Who, does anyone here know what B Corp is? Awesome, okay, so a bunch of you. I'll give a quick explanation for the other two thirds. It's a certification that basically identifies a business as having a triple bottom line. It means this company doesn't just care about money, it also cares about its impact on the community and on the environment. And it's basically the hardest to achieve certification for any company that's trying to demonstrate a triple bottom line. So B Corp is an example of a, our businesses and our database. There are about 100 here in Philly, about 1,000 around the world. So you can see that Keswick is B Corp, they're not actually, this is just a demo. 
Um, but then you can understand what is this business doing, where does the data come from. Transparency was one of the number one things that our users gave us pushback on, so that's in there. You can also see this banner ad in the middle. That's a lead referral. It's kind of like a Twitter card where we can capture users' interest in participating in a program. We're going to have maps. So you won't have to leave the app to go into Google Maps. I was told to do a demo, so this is more like how the app works. Um, we're also going to have a browse section where you can go through all the different categories in our database. So we've got food, fashion, energy, transportation, education, all these different categories for your lifestyle. So it's not just restaurants, it's lots of different things. So all those other areas of your life where you're thinking, I bet there's a more sustainable choice, there is, and it's in here. You just have to click on the category and you can see what the options are. We're also going to have social media integration in the app, so when you sign up for one of those referral forms where you see the rain barrel program that the water department's offering and you're like, I want a free rain barrel, I want to help manage stormwater infrastructure and prevent poop from going into our rivers, that sounds like a great idea. When you use our Facebook integration, we'll automatically be able to send your email and name to the water department, they will reach out to you and help you get your free rain barrel times several dozen other kinds of opportunities around the city. Oh look, I even put in another mock-up. So this is what it'll look like when you click on it, yes, I want this. And these are some other organizations that we're talking with. Um, we're having our third meeting with PICO on April 1st. They assured me it was not a joke, so I'm excited about that. Um, this is what a free listing is going to look like. Again, you can click on the badge, understand what the badge means. I kind of already explained it to you. And then down at the bottom, cut off by this lovely screen, are some of our partner organizations where our data is coming from. Money, right? So one of our revenue streams is a freemium model for profile pages. So business owners are paying us to have an enhanced presence in the app versus this pretty simple version. This is the tricked out Milk Crate premium account. Uh, it comes with, and this is the pitch we gave to Zipcar, who's one of our newest customers. So you get a logo, a banner image, a third link, a lengthy description, and kind of most importantly to a lot of these business owners, a narrative about themselves and why they run the company the way that they do, and that it's their values and, and how their values permeate to the culture of their company. Um, you get enhanced listing in the map and top billing in search results. So you really stand out as a leader in your category. Uh, most of those are current customers. Some of them are going to be. They just don't know it yet. Um, and then you're going to have a user profile with favorites, and we're really excited about what this favorites thing can do for us. We're hoping that we're going to kind of become the app of choice for a lot of sustainability fairs and events. Without having to do any new code, you can walk around, sample that local cheese, and go, mmm, find that farmer maker in our app, and then add them to your favorites list. So it's a very simple way of us becoming very involved in community events so that the people in this community that care about what we're doing, it's a good way to kind of have that touch in their lives on a regular basis. Uh, another thing that we're exploring that I'm excited about is a potential pilot program that we're going to be doing here with Recycle Bank, which actually started here in Philly. Yep, they've got 4 million users and raised $80 million, so we're kind of excited about what can happen if we build on their infrastructure and user base. Do you work for Recycle Bank? No? Nope. You just love it. Awesome. We love it too. Um, Recycle Bank, who knows what Recycle Bank is? Jesus, okay. Come on, guys. So Recycle Bank is basically the biggest, most successful in certain ways uh, sustainability rewards program, or really sustainability program in the country that has increased recycling rates in municipalities. And what they did was create a rewards program. But the rewards program, we think there's a real opportunity for Milk Crate to help and to build it. And so one of the things that we're looking at doing is using beacon technology and or geofencing so that when you walk by a Milk Crate business, you get a ping, you need to go into this business. And then when you go into this business, it's like, aren't you glad you came into this business? Here are all the rewards you forgot you had in your Recycle Bank account. You can now redeem them at this Milk Crate business. And so you get discounts and perks at those businesses. So that's what's going on there. Bunch of other crazy ideas in the pipeline. So the first year of the company was my master's thesis started in September of 2013 at Philly U in the Blackstone Launchpad. Jean? No? Okay. Uh, August, we launched the website, the first version of the app, and our crowdfunding campaign. Uh, Forbes in October, that was crazy. We got into Project Liberty. Corey, are you still here? There you are. There he is. Actually, I think this is the perfect moment to thank Corey and Project Liberty for creating the perfect pipeline and community and context for us to grow our company. And then, oh yeah, I'm not done. <laughs> it gets better. 
What time is it? Okay, it was like three hours ago now. It was fresher earlier. Uh, so Project Liberty is a partnership with Ben Franklin Technology Partners. And companies that go through Project Liberty hope to get money from Ben Franklin. And about three hours ago, we found out that we are going to be one of those companies that act is getting money from Ben Franklin. Yes, thank you. I've been waiting like three hours to tell you all that, so glad, glad I got to do that. Um, also, some other great recognition and exciting things for me and the company in the fall. And then looking forward to April 6th. So the mock-ups you see on here, this is the version that's going live on April 6th. So be sure to download it now so that when you forget to download it tomorrow, you will have the brand new version in your phone waiting for you on April 6th. So just do it now. Um, probably not going to launch version 3 in July. That's a lie. But we're, we're fundraising and planning, and it's going to happen eventually. Um, through some really great partnerships. Hello, Ticket Leap. We're hoping to incorporate events and uh, particularly Ticket Leap events into our app. Um, we're also working on a partnership with Impact Hub to help us grow all around the country. Um, we're already going to be going live in three Colorado cities, Asheville, North Carolina, and Asheville, North Carolina next month. So we'll be in five cities by the end of April, um, and DC will be hopefully by the end of the summer. Um, and from there, you know, the world. So download Milk Crate, help save the world, and make yourself feel like a better person. And yeah, that's it. Oh. Actually, no, let's leave that out. Questions? <laughs> Questions? Yes. Uh, that's a great project. Um, I have a question about the criteria mm -hmm. that you have put together sure. to. Um, certify or to kind of you know, the eligibility criteria for some business to be in that app and how you uh, test them, how you make sure that they are actually passing. Excellent question. And somehow I never addressed this properly, so I will do that now. So all of these organizations down here at the bottom, PACA, B Corp, the Humane League, SBN, Fair Food, the Energy Co-op, Fair Trade, these are all nonprofit organizations that have established criteria that's been trusted and vetted over the years that they've been in operation. So they have directories of businesses that have met their criteria. I then went to each executive director of those organizations and told them, this is what I'm doing and this is why it's good for you, and got them to give me their lists. So for the first time, all of these lists are in one place inside of Milk Crate. So we don't have our own criteria, and that was like, I said this earlier today, it was like the smartest thing I didn't realize was smart I've ever done in regards to Milk Crate, was that I realized that when I started Milk Crate, I was one person, and there was no way I was gonna invent some vetting system or criteria. That I had way too much to do. And when I looked at what a lot of the other companies had done, I realized that they really held themselves up with that process. It was cost prohibitive, it took a lot of time. So cutting out the middleman of building our own vetting system, actually we added the middleman, we brought in all these organizations to do it for us. So these organizations are our criteria and our vetting. We don't have our own, and that helps us to grow and expand, and it built a collaborative model instead of a competitive model. Because when an organization sees you doing something that's similar to them, sometimes they get a little defensive. But when we show them our model, they're like, oh, we want to be a part of that. So that, that's how it works. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Why the name? Why? Oh, God, I love that question. I'll give you a business card. So our on my business card, on all of our business cards, there's a picture of a bicycle. So this is on the cover on my business card, and it, it, the concept is that people around the city take old milk crates and they put them on the back of their bikes, right? This is like a storage thing, it's a repurposing thing, and it's also the container of your sustainable urban life. And so milk crate is the container of the information to help you live your sustainable life, or the place you go to find the business where you buy the thing that you then put in your milk crate. So that's where the name comes from. Yeah? Thank you very much.